Hi everybody, I'm Avni Parekh and I am an LGTVP uh, 2012 alumni for the ICATS Fellowship Program. I was placed in New Delhi, India with the organization Operation Asha. Operation Asha is a very well-known anti-tuberculosis organization and they used a um, basically biometric technology using a smartphone tracking fingerprints to be able to track when and if somebody was taking their tuberculosis medication. And why that's so important is because tuberculosis is actually one of, um, in terms of infectious disease, one of the major causes of death in India and in some developing countries that replicate conditions just like India. And uh, what was so cool about this organization is that um, you know, they were applying this, this principle of technology to an already well-known treatment protocol that was approved by the World Health Organization called the DOTS program. So I was able to work with the organization on um, thinking about international expansions and fundraising, and that was my role. And that really helped galvanize me and launch um, my own ideas in terms of starting a social enterprise, particularly in India. And I had several different experiences at Operation Asha that uh, encouraged me to launch what is now my own social enterprise called Love Doctor. And Love Doctor is a platform for youth to get information about relationships, love, and sexual health confidentially. So in a country, particularly like India, where sex education is so rare, Love Doctor is able to provide a platform for youth to ask questions, and we do that via chat. Um, you know, they can come onto the computer, or use their smartphones um, to ask questions to counselors. We also do that via the very popular messaging app WhatsApp, and we also allow them to SMS us questions. And so we're trying to be available and um, offer anonymous pathways for people to get really vital information that's important for um, their long-term well-being and overall health. So that is what I'm trying to do. And um, Operation Asha taught me a lot. So the first thing that I think was really important about my fellowship experience is that I saw Operation Asha um, because I was living in New Delhi, which is you know the, the seat of, of, of government of India um, and basically the head of the government. Um, I saw how Operation Asha was able to seamlessly sort of network with uh, the different ministry offices, talk to important officials. This was also where a lot of the other larger NGO headquarters um, were located. So, you know, as a team, we were constantly going to events, meeting people, talking to people, networking. And I think it allowed their solution to become much, much more visible and much more well known. Um, even though they were getting lots of press, these meetings and these, uh, you know, opportunities to interact with those at the highest level really, really helped them in terms of becoming, um, people becoming more aware about their solution and also, you know, people supporting them in the long run. So I think that was one of the really big lessons that I learned from my own social enterprise because when I decided to return back to Delhi to launch Love Doctor, um, you know, I came, I came to the same city, right? So I knew that I needed to be here because I saw how Operation Asha benefited from being, um, you know, sort of at this very important geographical location to be able to interact with those who were important to making things happen. So that was the first thing. The, the second thing was that my time at Operation Asha really taught me about um, the idea of collaboration and, and how you can replicate your model um, in a very different way. So, you know, NGOs oftentimes get bogged down because every time they want to move to a new area or expand horizontally, they need to create the infrastructure to do that, and their budgets just get bigger and bigger and more unwieldy, and they add on, um, you know, staff, and and the whole thing um, may lose the essence of, of when the organization was smaller and was people were more able to be closer to each other, right, without, without so many um, structures and hierarchies in place. So Operation Asha decided that if they were going to expand globally, they were going to actually offer their biometric uh, software um, and allow it to be open source so that any organization that wants to implement uh, their technologies could do it with a little bit of training from the organization. So, you know, in the interest of eradicating tuberculosis around the world, 
they wanted other organizations to be able to come in very quickly, adapt the technology, and begin to use what is arguably the best technology um, and the best solution for eradicating tuberculosis. So I learned from that as well in that, you know, in terms of building your own organization, you don't really need to um, constantly go into a new area yourself and recreate the wheel, that there's local knowledge experts and organizations that are already in place that are, would be able to do that for you. And finally, um, Working at Operation Asha was an incredible opportunity because the people that I was able to work with in my organization were fabulous. And they came from all strata of life, from all over India. And hearing their stories and seeing their reactions to the one event that um, basically catalyzed my action to start Love Doctor was really key in me even starting my own organization. Um, and so while I was living in Delhi, the Delhi rape case happened, this infamous gang rape case. And every, every day I would go to Operation Asha and we would talk about it at work. And I got to see the different reactions of people, to see how they approached this idea of violence against women, this idea of a woman's right to safety in public space. And from those conversations in, in our office, I began to formulate the idea for Love Doctor as a safe space for people to be able to ask questions that ultimately could help prevent incidents of violence because people were more understanding about their own bodies and about the dynamics of sexual contact and the dynamics of healthy relationships. So these were really important lessons that I took from my fellowship experience and I'm eternally grateful um, to LGTVP for providing me a platform to, to learn these things and to be a fellow. So, you know, I look forward to, to meeting those new fellows at the, at the fellowship workshop in a week, but I wanted to shoot this quick video because I was having trouble writing all of this stuff down and I'm much more of a talker, but, you know, being a fellow is a really life-changing experience. It can really open your eyes in many ways, and those of you that are thinking or considering to, to start your own social enterprise, I would definitely encourage you to apply for the fellowship program, go see the world, see how uh, you know other organizations are providing essential solutions to humanity's most pressing problems. And LGTVP understands um, that there needs to be a very varied approach to, to, to problem solving in the world, and that's why they send us in as fellows, right? So that we can also help with our expertise and also learn lessons um, and apply those lessons elsewhere. So uh, we are the ground force and you would be the ground force in helping to spread good ideas around the world and, and making the world a better place. As LGTVP uh, says, a smiling world. So thanks so much for your time and look forward to, to seeing all of you soon. Bye.